Hello guys and welcome to another video, this time I bring you my free to play account progression and we will start with my giant team, as you can see I went up to B7 in the Hall of Heroes it means I clear up to B6 and that is all I will do, I get 3 copies of Natalie which I will store until I have to skill up Stella yes, the water assassin now this is my team, my giant, my giant team has not changed, however what changed Actually, the monsters have not changed, what changed are the runes, okay? I modified the runes of Ethna mainly, because now she is PvP ready, she is RTA ready, okay? I, I mean, she is not RTA ready yet, because I don't have mana enough to plus 15 all her runes, however, I am waiting to get enough mana to make her runes plus 15. Now she's over 220 speed, which is a lot and is great, and she's on the spear runes. Her kit is perfect for the spear runes because she hits 5 times with her first skill, and she hits AoE 2 times each monster on her second skill, and her second skill not only defends rate but has a cooldown of 2 turns. So every other turn she can throw the skill, however her skill allows her to increase her attack bar by 10% for each critical hit she does, so she will continuously deal that skill, complete her attack bar, and then she will strike again. So she's awesome, especially for PvE too, because she can unload the skill, then an attack bar booster can go after, after her, and she will go again, with all the opposing team defense broken. That is awesome. As you can see, the speed is quite fast. I also improved the runes of my Lucian, of of my Theomars and my Veramos. So everyone, everyone is better right now, so my team is more consistent. I haven't seen, he, seen it fail for a long time. And uh, here are the runes of Lucian. As you can see, many of my runes are grinded because now I'm doing R4. I finally finished my, my R4 team. And you saw that rune on, on Theo, well, we will try to fix it right now. We will try to go plus 15 on that rune which is my priority because Theo is on both my Giants and Dragons team so it's very important for him to be maxed out in order to complete the efficiency of my team ok, these are the runes from Veromos and now we will try to go plus 15 here you see a great rune with lots of hit points I planted accuracy in there and we have speed and crit rate too and now guys, you see, my Theomars is complete my Theomars is now more resistant with his tank here and here are the rules of my rounds team I will not do this rounds run because you have seen this team a lot of times it's very efficient and now I improve the rules on Verdi Hyde as you will see I also improve the rules on Megan too that this is all thanks to my raid team because now I'm able to raid with my main account my main account's additional placement and this account so I can raid by myself on R4 my monsters are, are getting better every day they are faster and they are stronger as you can see I'm on Negro V10 I, ha I don't have a Negro team yet and now I will show you I completed TOA normal and I will show you my TOA hard team this is the team I used to manual here mm, I think this stage I could auto it however I will manual it and show you uh, and make sure I clear it because I 6 star Chasun there she is I 6 star her yesterday now she is I actually did today I seek her her today and I already maxed her and I I made some some three star mo three star monster to feed to my devil mouse to feed to my rainbow mouse sorry I fed Chasun some devil mouse I have saved however I still need to skill up her second skill so I will be feeding her devil mouse until I max her second skill because she is a very important monster and I don't have another nut fight to feed devil mouse to so, as you can see, Ethna is amazing. She not only stuns, but she hits like a truck, and now she's tanky too. 
I try to make an Ethna that is RTA ready because I would like to enter RTA with this account in order to farm scrolls. Okay, I want to win the in the range of challengers from challenger 2, challenger 3 and fire 1 range. I think this account may be in that range between challenger 2 and fire 1. And that will be enough to farm some some scrolls every week. I don't know if I will do it, but I want to be able to if I want to. Okay? Now you see how my team complements itself and there you see, Ethna crits a lot, gains a full attack bar again, and she's ready to go again. She's ready to go again, guys. You see? Now she can kill. It's amazing. Ethna is great. It's a very, very good monster after the buff. Very, very good monster. And she's incredible on these pair runes. Because she does her second skill every other turn when, the, when she's max skilled, which mine is. So you don't even need violent runes on her because she will be taking an extra turn with her second skill. Okay guys, on RTA you won't get more than one violent proc. So why would you need a violent proc when you are getting your full attack bar? Or at least 80% of your attack bar because you will be facing four monsters and she will get 20% per monster because she hits twice each monster and gains 10% for each critical hit. And as you can see, her crit rate is about 80 something, 84% or so. <coughs> Sorry guys. But this team controls like bosses. They are fast, they are all very fast, which, which is what I like from this account because it took lots of work, but I finally made monsters in this account very good very good for the stage in the game. This, is ac this, this account is less than a year old and, and it's fire tree in arena but it already clears TOA normal it clears dragons b10 with a hundred percent team okay now that, that I improved the units they never fail they, f they, may fail they may fail once in a while I don't remember the last time they failed okay and my giants speed team Okay, it's a speed team and it's a consistent speed team. You see, these two runes, this rune is amazing, it's incredible. That rune is incredible, it's amazing, you see. HP, grid rate, accuracy, defense, everything Ethna needs. If it had speed, it would be perfect. However, I have this plus 21 speed rune, slot 6, six attack rune, which is awesome too. As you can see, plus 15 there, I was able to grind these runes because of my my trip to R4 with my own account so this this monster still has room for improvement okay it still has room for improvement however you see all the grinds I have okay I have some green grinds from R3 too which I had I have had them for a long time and I may I will use them if I find the rooms to use them on However, I, I'm very happy with Ethna. You see those stats? So she's tanky, she has 6k HP. And she hits hard too. And she will hit harder. I, I'm very happy with Ethna. And she still has room for improvement. And those are the rooms of my other of my other monsters that I used on TOA recently. I'm very happy with Chasun 2 with this rune, plus 25 speed guys, 25 speed there. And it can be increased up to 26 if I am not wrong, yes. I can go up to 26, however I will not do it right now. And I may take this rune out in order to give it to Bernard, actually. But I will have to switch rooms around and I don't have mana for that because as you know I need to to max out to plus 15 the rooms on Ethna and then I have to go to plus 15 in the rooms of slot 3 and 5 from my front liners on, on R4 because those rooms are very helpful for, for those monsters. And I want to do that with Ethna's runes too, because I want her to be as tanky as she can be with the runes I gave her. 
okay now what I'm what am I doing now I am I am on double X and I will show you how great how great Ethna is on Aiden Hill she is my rep so if you are friends of mine you are using it already however now that she is on these pair rooms and that she is quite quite faster than she was then she should be able to clear this stage easily easily you see she stand with her first touch okay because she's on despair if if she wasn't on despair she will have stunned on her last hit okay so there are lots of chances that this this attack that capture will hit with will stun and as you can see even though it was the last attack she used she could use now shatter again you see shatter is an attack that can be used every other turn and she's ready to go again okay now that she's faster she's a great farmer she's a great farmer this monster I, I'm very happy with this monster this is the monster I improved the most and I am fighting I, I am doing lots of dragons runs in order to get mana because I want to max her out as fast as I can because I'm very very eager to try her on RTA or to try her everywhere because this monster is awesome awesome monster look out for her on RTA remember she is a stripper she is a defense breaker she gains attack bar for, from her second skill and well she dots on her first skill however that is not very important and when you want to go for fast runs then I manual it and by doing the second skill over and over again you will clear the waves quite easily and in a very short time okay I go do this with Lucian too okay and and probably will be faster but I am showcasing Edna right now and I'm having fun with her so sorry guys I'm having fun that monster that monster is amazing Now guys, I will go to the arena, this is my arena defense, and what do I do? I will show you my Sierra runes, I improved Sierra too, you see, 195, and she is plus 2000 attack, 2000 attack, okay? She plants bombs of 28 to 30k, she is something to be afraid of, and she still has room for improvement, guys, and she is 89% accuracy, okay? 89% accuracy, 2.8k attack, and if it's even not maxed out the, the slot 1 rune, she could go up to 2, 285 attack, 2850 attack, okay? See, my Sierra is getting way better by the day, okay? There will be a day when I move her on to violent runes because that is what she is supposed to be she is very good on violent runes i know but i don't have violent runes right now but i do have very good ciara runes on the fatal set and guys this is my bernard i granted his speed too as you can see 165 so now he is 100 276 speed bernard and he could be 278 however i don't want to strip Chasun to give him only two more speed okay and now I will do this because I, I always do the rivals okay I am free to play I need the crystals I do the rivals every time every chance I get but guys my Bernard is fast he's fast for fighter 3 okay fighter 3 require about 270 and he's 276 okay now what did i do i refreshed because i am about to revenge okay so i lost some points and i want to get the easier rivals i can so that's why i refresh and then i go back to here to revenge because i expect to succeed and i will only revenge from the guys that cannot hit me back okay i revenge from the guys that lost to my arena defense as you can see my Lucian is hitting over 8.5k per card 
okay and he doesn't even have an attack leader with an attack leader he will be over 9k with Bernard leader he will be over 9k he's starting to hit quite hard and he's not too slow actually he is not perfectly seamed however I think I can grind his runes in order to be completely perfectly seamed with Bernard and Megan okay now against this not Ethna, not Ethna, not Ethna. I don't think Ethna. I think I can bring, I can bring, I should bring Bernard. I should bring Bernard here. I should bring Bernard. Yes, I should bring my main team. Yes. Yes, I should outspeed. I should kill Molly first. I, I have 89% accuracy, so I have a 15% chance to fail my pump. It doesn't matter if she has 100% resistance. I have 15% chance to lose. Okay, Molly out, 28k, awesome. Now I will try to kill Theo. This Theo ha was not bought by, by my Lucian, that means I, ha I must have missed a crit. However, I was lucky enough to block beneficial effects, so beneficial effects. So now I could kill him. And now we go for we go for Wusa and we will try to bomb the Beast Monk that Wusa Transmog is amazing very very nice one of the best Transmogs they have made so far okay we were lucky and armor broke the, the Beast Monk now I planted the bomb and Ciara will die but we will be able to kill this yes yes we will now we buff defense and we have our amputation magic ready, right? Yes, yes we do. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, we win. We'll remove the speed buff. And we will let him die to the bomb. Okay, perfect. That was perfect. Now we are on fire tree range again. Because I placed my real defense a couple hours ago only. Okay? I have been on my farming defense for the rest of the week because I like to get lower in the ranks in order to have easier fights now this one quite easy because I have a speed leader so the only thing I need to do here is to kill Lucian in case it was an anomaly strong tanky Lucian however this was in the back from the moment my Bernard outsped his now this is interesting this is interesting I will go with I, will, I, I don't need Bernard here because I think my Megan at at 200 and at 205 I think can outspeed them. Yes, my Megan can outspeed them, and my Megan can outspeed them without the Sierra lead. My Megan can outspeed them without the Sierra lead. Maybe Belladion to armor. I will go Theomars. Theomars, yes, Theomars, and Theomars lead. Theomars lead. Yes. I can do this. I can do this. I am sure I will outspeed them. And since my and since my monsters are quite close in speed one to, to the other, I don't think he will go in between. Now I kill Juno because she's the one that can heal the others if she hits too unethical too harmful effect. And now I shall hit skill one on hit skill one on Chow. And and magic will kill both Chow and Yang, yes, and now it's Raccoonie versus the world, and the world will win. The world should win. We are the world. Okay, nice. Nice, perfect. Ah, uh, what's that? Okay, okay, this is a, this is a war of Bernard. Okay, the Bernard that wins, the faster Bernard, Bernard wins the fight. No way to lose if you're if my Bernardo speeds. Yes, I win. I win this. I will try to bomb that Bernard in case he goes in between my Lucian. Okay, I failed the bomb. However, he did not interrupt me, so I win. I win. Shot like that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, that was it for the arena. Now, guys. I 
I should show you I should show you my towers. I buy Bevelmon every week. Every week. I have that mysterious plant in order to get energy sooner. And those are my towers. I am actually what I'm doing is buying the attack towers. However, I add up the towers of the, the water, fire and wind and if the added number of, of glory points from those three towers is lower than the, the amount of the ancient sword then I buy the three towers however if the ancient sword is lower then I buy a level from the ancient sword because the ancient sword affects all three elements you follow me? That is what you should do in case you want to increase the attack of your monsters. And as you go see, my speed tower is already at plus 9. I won't go plus 10 yet because it's only 1% and it takes lots of points. And guys, this is my R4 team. Okay? This team doesn't wipe. It doesn't wipe and it debuffs a lot and it brands, it armor breaks, it, it blocks healings, it lows it has every every debuff that you need for this stage okay except for glancing it does every debuff and this helps complement my my main team because my main account as you know Calad Ball 4x has the most damage actually not the most damage has a damage oriented team so I need the support to debuff and then my other account will kill the dragons because it will hit like crazy. You see the runes? I am trying to max slot 3 and 5 especially for the frontliners and this Amarna, Amarna is quite nice however his runes are not great I try to, to focus on speed and hit points however he is not tanky enough for the frontline yet neither is Colleen but I will improve with time I will improve them with time and with Brines okay now I'm very happy with Hua however I need to make her tankier and and I will improve that with Brines too and Belladion is there because Belladion is quite good in R5 Belladion provides a, a safe armor break and also provides an, a, a heal a consistent heal and the attack bar increase with that heal so I was not quite sure on what to bring on that spot I was running Ciara on that spot but Ciara dies a lot and Belladion makes sure that my team will never wipe or almost never wipe because RNG happens you know however what I should do what, what, what I will do now is I will skill up Chasun and then I will throw Devilmos into Amarna because I need to max Amarna's second skill okay I need to max the cooldown on Amarna's second skill because the brand is awesome the brand improves the times of my runs a lot so I need Amarna to to throw that second skill as much as he can okay 152 it was a great time as you can see 129 was the time the best time I did and I did that time with my additional placement and my main account the additional placement of my main account okay well guys now I will show you what I'm I'm about to six star next I am farming in order to six star Orion or Bernard however I am inclined to six star Orion I know I can improve him a little I may go to 260 speed if I grind his runes a little so I want to sister him and then I want to summon that week, Lucian week, because I want to get my second Lucian and I don't have any of those nap fights and any of them will be great for this account. Guys, as you can see, I also need to work on this girl, which will be the one to replace my my Belladion once my R4 team is, is, is ready and when they are ready to move on to R5, I want uh, Kung Fu Girl to be one of the staples of this team. So guys, thank you very much for watching this. I hope this was useful for you. Let's see if I can get something 
no, okay no i cannot finish this summoning okay guys thank you very much for watching this remember every week do your daily missions and do your war boss and see you in the next one bye